Hey what's going on guys, Luis here, and the HTC One M9 is going to be coming up here pretty shortly, and this phone promises a lot of awesome features and a great price, all inside of a really premium body that we are all familiar with, and I think we can all agree that we are looking forward to it. The One M8 was one of my personal favorites last year, and the M9 has a lot to live up to, but I think it'll be up to the task. So without any further ado, here's some rumors, leaks, and what you can expect from the HTC One M9. So the overall look and feel of the HTC One M9 will most likely remain the same as the one on the M8 with the same brushed aluminum design that we all love and there's only a couple things that I expected to change, the button placement and how thin and light it will be. According to some rumors the buttons will be on the side of the phone instead of on the top so that they will be a little bit easier to reach but you can expect everything else to be in the same placement like the front facing speakers. And it'll also be coming in three different colors, stealth black, metallic gray, and pure gold. The screen size will most likely be 5 inches again, although there are a few leaks out there showing it to be 5.2 inches, but I think that HTC is going to keep its original size because we're probably going to have a larger variant at the end of the year. It'll most likely be the same 1080p display, and some people might think that it's not the best choice not to go with a Quad HD display, but with a higher PPI or pixels per inch, I think that the screen is going to look great. As far as the processor goes, you can definitely expect the HTC One M9 to have the latest Snapdragon A10 or 805 processor with the Adreno 430 GPU. And I'd love to see 4 gigs of RAM on the phone, but that seems a little bit too ambitious, so definitely expect it to have at least 3 gigs of RAM with 32, 64, and maybe 128 gigs of storage. So overall, I definitely expect the One M9 to have top-notch specs and be competing directly with the Galaxy S6, and I think that the way each one looks is going to be the deciding factor of which one is better. So if you want to see a comparison between the two of them, definitely subscribe to the channel down below. Those will be coming very soon. So I think it's fair to say that the HTC One M8 last year had one of the most disappointing cameras in 2014, and it was actually the weakest point of the phone. And we're expecting HTC to drop their ultra pixel technology, which was a great idea but didn't really work. So hopefully they'll bring back those megapixels into a 13 megapixel sensor camera on the One M9, which will most likely have much better optics and be able to take much better photos in low light, which was actually one of the main struggles of the camera on the M8. You can expect the HTC One M9 to be announced at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain on March 1st alongside the Galaxy S6 running the latest version of Android Lollipop. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, follow me on Twitter at Zaxper for the latest updates and if you enjoy the content definitely keep it locked here at Zaxper and I'll see you guys next time.